How's it going everyone? Grim here with another video and I want to start a new playlist on my channel with this video uh, and I want to name that playlist That's How I Do It. So one of the wonderful things in my opinion about Warhammer and playing Warhammer is the building of models, right? So specifically Warhammer 40k is what I specialize in but I love to build the models and I love to customize the models to make them a little bit different than how they're supposed to be. Now, one particular army that I like playing that I think is a very fun and interesting army to play uh, in ninth edition currently uh, are the Harlequins. I think the Harlequins are a fun army to play, a sub-faction of the Eldar. Uh, the Harlequins have some great special rules, but I don't particularly like the way the models look. So this is a Harlequin Troopmaster. And if you're not familiar with the Harlequin Army faction, they kind of look like this. And what they're supposed to be are these elf performers, kind of like circus folk, okay? And they're colored up, their, their outfits are colored up to kind of represent clowns or uh, acrobats, something very circus-like in nature. And they're, but they're performers and they go around performing throughout all of space. But it's actually these performances are just hiding the fact that they're very skilled, uh, athletic, dexterous killing machines, right? So this is a troop master. And it's very indicative of how the Harlequin models look. You can see there. Let me try and focus. You can see there. He's got a mask. Right? He's got like this mask thing. He's got this giant uh, uh, helmet uh, feathery thing on top. And then under, he's wearing what looks to be tights. All right? These are kind of like tights that he's wearing, kind of like what an acrobat or a gymnast would wear. And then, of course, this really nice leather trench coat over it. Harlequin troops all have a shuriken pistol or some kind of uh, range shooting weapon and then a melee weapon, like a sword. They have a special melee weapons called kisses, caresses, and, and that type of thing. Uh, but basically, they're they're good at both melee and range. Okay, that's one of the signature things about your standard Harlequin troop model is that they have both. All right. But like I said, I don't particularly like the design of these models. So what am I going to do to make my Harlequin army? I'm going to customize. And what I like to do is I like to use the Age of Sigmar Witch Elves. These are sprues for witch elves. Now, this particular kit can make either witch elves or sisters of slaughter. Two different types of troops uh, in Age of Sigmar. But anyway, you look here, you can kind of see this is the body of one of the witch elves, right? And this one is jumping off of some kind of rock thing. Very similar to the troop master jumping off some kind of rock thing. You can see with the other leg that you glue on, the pose, right? The flowing hair, right? The way the arms hold these knives. So the, the witch elves usually have two knives or two daggers or swords. And then the sisters of slaughter will have like a sword or a whip and a shield, right? You can kind of see the shield there, right? But look, look at these faces. And this kit comes with a lot of different face options. Look at how active and dynamic that face looks, right? That's a witch elf face. And then this is a sister of slaughter face, right? And look at that. In my opinion, that can easily pass as one of the masks of a Harlequin troop. It just looks much more menacing, right? So this is how I do it. How I make my Harlequin army is using these witch elves. And I think they're great. 
The problem is, though, because it's Age of Sigmar, they don't have any shuriken pistols. They don't have any guns of any kind, right? They do have these great melee swords that you can use, but you're going to have to somehow figure out how to build these models with a ranged weapon like a pistol. Well, you got to go get those pistols separately, right? And you can easily go on eBay and find people who sell bits. Or you can get the Harlequin model kit and use the pistol bits from that kit on these. And they, they're compatible. Very, they're compatible very, very well. They work well together. It's real easy to glue the guns onto these arms as they uh, go onto the model itself. And in a second, I will show you what that looks like. Okay, so using these Witch Elf models, you go from this, right, to this. And this is your standard Witch Elf. You can see with the two swords, right? And look at how dynamic that is, right? Look at the flowing hair. Same thing, jumping off a rock. But like I said, you got to have a ranged weapon on this thing. So you get the the bit from eBay or wherever else or from the, the Harlequin Troop kit, the Shuriken pistol. And then you make these, right? So look at these. You can see there, this one here with that Shuriken pistol looks great. They have these dynamic poses, right? Here's one with a witch elf head with the long flowing hair, right? Holding that pistol. The swords are in these dynamic poses as their bodies bend and contort, just like acrobats or gymnasts would do. And like I said, remember, these, these harlequins are kind of, they're supposed to be like circus performers, right? And they can, their, their models have the bodies jumping and bending and being very acrobatic. So same thing. And look how great these models look, right? And when they're painted up with that pistol, look at that. That looks great. Witch Elf face, no mask, but you paint that face white, kind of representing kind of like a mime, right? Which is a type of clown, sort of, right? And then you paint up the body. And you can, obviously, I went with a very minimalist paint scheme with this one, right? Just black and white, kind of like a... Uh, tuxedo type of thing going on here but you obviously will paint it up any way you want to paint it up be as colorful as you want to be to represent the clown outfit right but look at that isn't that great i think it's great and then of course the harlequins have characters they have hq just like how you know every other army has and so you know these can be the standard troops but you can turn some of them into characters if you want to or age of sigmar has a bunch more uh, of these models in the daughters of cain army these are from the daughters of cain army and they have all these different types of models from the daughters of cain and here's an example of one that in my opinion you can easily make into a character for your harlequins look at that with the huge giant 1980s hair right I think that looks great standing on top of a skull. You know, I really do think in some regard, Age of Sigmar models are much more detailed and look a lot better than some 40K models. Uh, but that's just my opinion. So I love using these uh, Sisters of Slaughter slash Witch Elf models to make my Harlequin army. And that's how I do it. If you have a comment, please leave a comment. Perhaps you do customization. Perhaps you have a different idea of what's a good model to use for your Harlequin army or any other type of army in terms of customizing. Tell us, how do you do it? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, Grim out.